paint was flying at one school as students got a huge donation today. Artist George Rodbury gave a year's worth of art supplies and a painting demonstration. News 2's Michael Shingleton paints us a picture of how it all came together. It's a rare treat at Duff Rock Elementary when these students get a break from their normal day, especially when world-renowned painter George Rodrigue puts together a blue dog just for them. But George wasn't the only one painting. Each student filed in one by one, putting on their aprons. All right, Joshua. <laughs> and getting started. Before they began, they all had one painting in mind. Blue dog. Blue dog. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm making a rainbow. A rainbow. <laughs> well, maybe not one painting. Whether it's a blue dog or a blue, black, green, and red dog, Rodrigue says teaching art at such a young age is more than just painting. It teaches them that, you know, when you grow up, you can do be, be anything you want. You know, you can be an artist. You can, you can be a carpenter. You can be a janitor. You can be anything you want. Someone like me came from New Iberia, Louisiana, who started painting, and I'm still painting. And here's one man without any formal painting experience. The next time I want them to bring this whole deal with all the numbers and colors of <laughs> Paint by number, this is not. But Mayor Holden grabbed his paintbrush and did the best he could. Like Rodrigue, he also sees the potential in all of these kids. We're capturing young people at an age that makes a difference instead of them being influenced by somebody who may send them in the wrong direction. Of course I couldn't leave without painting my own, right? What's the key here, Chuck? It all starts with the nose. The nose, huh? So you start with the nose, then the face, eyes, mouth, and body, and you can't forget the channel 2 microphone. So it's not quite as easy as it looks. Sometimes you start with the ears way too big, but in the end, it doesn't look half bad. At Dufrock Elementary, Michael Shingleton, WBRZ Balanced News. Not bad at all. The George Rodriguez Foundation has 30 other schools applying for supplies as well.